good morning welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new vlog i do realize i just said good morning it's actually the afternoon for me it's currently saturday afternoon um, so i hope you've had a really good week whatever you've been up to or having a really good weekend i have been a busy bee this morning but it has been very self-care heavy you may or may not be able to tell but i have had a bit of a hair refresh and i could not be happier with it i was just so in need of like a full head of highlights basically because although the top of my hair was quite blonde the underneath of my hair was so dark i don't know how well you might have been able to tell kind of in my my most recent videos but definitely when i kind of had my hair up like this this was really dark so i was like i just i need to spend a little bit more uh, and just have a full head of highlights done i had a really really lovely toner um put in as well i don't know how well you can see the color but it's kind of gone like this really nice ashy but warm blonde color and it's just the color that i love for summer it is exactly what i was hoping for and then i had it chopped as well so i had maybe maybe like this much chopped off because i just yeah it just needed a bit of a lift it needed a bit of a refresh so yeah new hair <laughs> and i'm really i'm really really happy with it uh so yeah i went and did that this morning that was at 9 a.m so it was up and out today and then i went and met fiona for some lunch and we had a nice old girly catch up we had a little mooch around the shops uh, that I didn't buy anything. In fact, the only thing that I did buy was a book because I am still like, I know I probably said this last week, I am deep into my book era, my book phase. I just, I go so long without reading books. And then once I find that one book that just draws me back in, I am completely and utterly hooked. So I actually started, so I started a book series i think it was maybe a week ago now um, and it's one that i had seen online i'd seen loads and loads of people talking about it and from looking at the cover i just didn't really feel like it was the sort of book that was for me i didn't feel like it was one that i'd enjoy eventually after watching quite a few videos about it and reading kind of a, a brief summary without any spoilers i thought you know what i'm just going to give it a go i started reading a sample on my phone and then eventually i caved and i read the entire book there's five books in the series and i have currently read two and i just purchased the third one in fact let me go and grab it quickly so this is the third book i've got my uh sorry this is such a tangent but i've got my um my new new look jeans on today and honestly i just i'm loving them more and more when i wear them i've basically just paired them with a nice white tee my gray cardigan although i really don't need to have this on today because it is an absolutely beautiful day outside um but yeah this is the third book so the very very first book i'll try and pop a picture of it on the screen because i don't have it to hand is called a court of thorns and roses and it's by an author called sarah j mass i think is how you pronounce her surname sarah j mass and yeah it's a five part collection this is the biggest book i think of the series this is quite a hefty book i have to say <laughs> um but yeah i read the first one and i was like wow that was really good and then i started reading the second one and it was just even better than the first one i'm not going to go too far into it just in case some of you are <laughs> not interested at all in my book recommendations but i heard someone describe it as like a very entry-level fantasy series and I couldn't agree with that more. If you want to know any more about it, then, or you can always send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment uh, down below. But yeah, and, and equally, if any of you have read it before or read it recently, just, I need someone to talk to about this. I'm completely addicted. So yes, that is probably what's gonna keep me busy for this evening. But yeah, so anyway, 
I bought this in town. This was from Waterstones and actually it's on offer at the moment on the website. I think it was um, $6.99 down from $8.99. So now might be a good time to try it anyway. But yeah, got my hair done, had lunch, picked up a book. I have just got home. Now this vlog is kind of going to be split into a couple of different sections. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do one long vlog or if I'm going to keep like a weekend vlog and then do a separate vlog. But I've got a really exciting kind of PR press event coming up and I'm going into London. I'm actually bringing my mum as well, which will be really nice. And we can just spend some nice time in London. I'm not gonna tell you too much detail about it, but it's, it's home interiors related. And I'm really excited because it's kind of the first real like press brand launch event that I've ever been to so I'm really excited for that and it should be really fun so yeah that is going to come a little bit later on but in the meantime hopefully we can just have a nice weekend and enjoy ourselves and also hopefully enjoy some nice sunshine because it is a beautiful day today The sun is shining today, which is completely unexpected. I did not expect to see beautiful blue skies out the window. It just, <laughs> it's put me in a really good mood and it's made me feel really happy. So I'm literally just finishing off getting ready. And in fact, I think I have finished off getting ready. I haven't put my extra bit of perfume on but other than that we are pretty much ready to go for the day i thought i'd very quickly show you a little pr parcel that has arrived from elemis which is super exciting um there's a couple of samples that have come in i think you do get samples with every order so i went for a facial wash which i'm going to give to james and then a cool down body wash recharging body wash which sounds quite nice so I can put them away somewhere. Okay, what do we have? So, Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which is an anti-wrinkle hydrating day cream. Very excited about this. I do have quite a bit of my Illumiere day moisturiser. I mean, it's not technically a day moisturiser, but it's just very light. So it's what I use in the morning. I do have quite a bit of that left, but once I finish it up, um, I think I'll give this a go or I'll maybe just do like a very slow transition so that my skin <laughs> doesn't get upset. But I'm looking forward to giving this a try. I'm just very intrigued to see how light it is because as I literally just mentioned, I do like it to be quite a light um, texture. I don't like anything too heavy on my face for the daytime. Let's have a look if I just, okay. So it is quite creamy, but it does look quite light. Let me just take a very small amount. Okay, yeah, it is very light. It is literally just a very, very kind of light gel almost rather than a cream. Oh, that feels lovely. It doesn't have like a, it doesn't have too much of a fragrance either, which is quite nice because I don't like things being too intense. Oh, that's lovely. That's that feels really nice rubbing that into my into the back of my hand. So that is exciting. I'm going to keep it in the boxes for now just until I figure out <laughs> what to do with them. And I just need to do a little bit of content with them as well. So there's one more thing that came as part of the pro collagen range which is an eye revive mask and anti-wrinkle rejuvenating eye mask. I don't really have an eye mask. Apply a thin layer to eye contours, leave overnight to absorb or layer under or over makeup. Use a minimum of three times a week. That's interesting that you can use it over makeup as well. I have got some eye cream on at the moment, so I'm not gonna give it a try. Again, it just comes in this really lovely looking pot. Okay, maybe I will use it as kind of an overnight thing. I think that makes, oh, it's yellow. <laughs> I think that makes the most sense for me. It kind of looks a little bit like Vaseline, to be honest. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that out. And it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have a smell. I can't smell a smell anyway. A couple more things. So I have part of the superfood range. I've got a glow priming moisturizer. Now this is interesting. So this also sounds like a morning moisturizer 
so i'll have to figure out do i want to use the day cream or do i want to use this maybe i will use this a priming moisturizer leaves skin with a dewy hydrated glow interesting maybe i'll just chop and change because this I, I do like the idea of like an illuminating moisturizer i think maybe this will be really good for summer when i want to wear much less makeup or maybe i'll take it on holiday with me as well where i just want that nice glow on my face without actually having to put too much makeup on oh i like the packaging obviously look at the color this is a lovely color i really like this okay so it's based oh interesting so it's like a, a a dispense a squeeze and dispense bottle that's really interesting i've never had a moisturizer like that and then lastly so i did actually try this out last night and it was lovely again part of the superfood range it's the midnight facial so they call it a sleeping cream and it smells delightful it says it's got uh camu camu cocoa and banana flower nourishes replenishes revives so this is basically like an overnight hydration mask for your face hence the name midnight facial um and it just smells it reminds me i don't know why this just popped into my head it reminds me of a twister ice lolly <laughs> is that really weird it reminds me of like a really nice ice lolly it's kind of like like strawberry raspberry kind of scented but in a really nice way like a very fresh way but this was really nice it was nice and thick going onto my face last night and i have to say i didn't have any dryness on my skin when i woke up this morning obviously i've only tried it once last night so i can't really say like whether it's amazing or whether it's kind of just okay because i just haven't haven't tried it enough yet but first impressions very impressed so yeah thanks to elemis for sending those bits over i'm looking forward to trying all of these things out once i've used up my current bits um whether or not i will permanently switch to elemis who knows but the bits that i have tried from elemis so far are a big tick they are a big tick in the book so yeah that's exciting right i am going to head downstairs because we have had something incredibly exciting delivered and i have been absolutely dying to show you so we'll nip downstairs i can hear james is faffing around with it at the moment so let's go and see what we've had so i've been really excited to show you this and it's something that i pre-ordered i don't even know how long i pre-ordered it three months ago. three months ago um and it is this gorgeous i'll show you properly once um once james has kind of unpackaged it but it's this absolutely stunning mirror from william wood so this is a mirror from the same place that i got the one up on the wall here so i think i ordered them pretty much at the same time and i thought this kind of window effect would be really nice for up in the hallway i got james to sort of hold it up for me to have a look and it just brightens the hallway so much more you wouldn't believe this is the texture of it it's like a kind of distressed washed oak effect and i just think it's gorgeous it's such a nice size i think it's called the sasha mirror yeah. and i think they have a few different sizes of it so we are literally just about to say we <laughs> i'm here for moral support but <laughs> we are literally just about to pop it up on the wall and i'll show you how it looks once it's up things are looking a little bit messy but we do have progress in the hallway so the first thing is up the mirror is just oh it looks so lovely i'll show you from this side as well so that you can see both angles it just brightens up the hallway so well i don't know how amazing the light's gonna be um but hopefully you can see hopefully you can see um and i do think we still need a bigger console table here because it just i don't know it does help to fill the space but i still think we could just get a much longer console table to fill like even this much gap just to really fill out the hallway i think that would be nice over in the kitchen if i sneak past james there's a couple of things we're putting up here so the print that you would have seen in last week's video we've literally just put up on the wall here i need to do a bit of styling over on this radiator cover but i'm really happy with this i think it matches the kitchen perfectly and i'm glad you guys liked it as well i just think it's beautiful 
I've just had a very quick reshuffle as well, just because as much as I absolutely adore these magnolia stems, I just didn't feel like they were working with the picture. Um, so I've changed it out for a few bits that I picked up from the range not too long ago. Uh, there's three different types of stems. This is one of them. This is another one and then the eucalyptus at the back is a third one and I do like the extra kind of pop of green. I need to mess around with the styling of this because it is looking a little bit bare. Um, and then the other thing that's bugging me besides the light which we still need to change is just I don't know if it's too, I don't know if it feels too like orangey in here. Part of me wants to paint the mirror. <laughs> But I'm really not sure and I'd love to know, if I stand back as much as I can, I'd love to know what you guys think. Is it just looking a little bit too orangey? Um, or, and should I paint the mirror or does it look fine and I just need to leave it and stop overthinking it? We are going to get these seat pads reupholstered, of course, in kind of a similar colour slash material to the tablecloth so that will help with a little bit of the brown i just don't know if it's too much with like the chairs the mirror and the gold of the frame i'm not sure versus this side of the kitchen um which is kind of a little bit more country style something's just not tying together and i don't know what it is i need to just have a bit of a think about it anyway moving over to this side as well this is kind of our hidden corner of the kitchen that doesn't really have much there we've put the uh picture which was on the radiator cover we've just popped it up here behind the door and i really like it i think it looks lovely just sort of peeking out from the corner there so I'm happy with that as well. What a beautiful day it is today. I don't know if you can even see the sunshine through the window, but it wasn't even supposed to be sunny today. And the sun is shining. There are quite a few clouds in the sky, but they're not like thick clouds, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's quite thin clouds and the sun is just managing to peek through them for most of the time. So I've just been out in the front garden, just having a little bit of a tidy up, Checking on my plants, there are so many seeds coming out actually. Um, maybe I should just take you out in, in a sec and show you because lots of my seeds are starting to come through and it just makes me so happy and so excited because this is the first year that I've really been able to make the most of spring and growing and being in the garden so that's super exciting. I've just been out into the garage as well and pulled out uh, one of our bean bags because it's not supposed to rain, she says. It's not supposed to rain this week. And I just want to be able to sit out in the garden. We've got some people coming over a bit later. I want to just sit out in the garden in one of the bean bags with a good book and my sunglasses and just do a bit of reading. So maybe I'll make a cup of tea to take out as well. So yeah, I'll show you the bean bags that we've got. They are quite big bean bags, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but they're from a brand called Gardenista, and I did, um, I did a bit of work with them. I think it was last year, or it might have been the year before that, but these bean bags are honestly, they are just fabulous. I'll show you once I've got it out into the garden but they are so comfy. I think they're relatively well priced as well. I want to say they're around the 50 pound mark. Let me quickly show you how some of my seeds are doing because hopefully, hopefully you guys are as excited as I am about all of this plant growth. If you're not, then I do apologize because it just is making me so excited at the moment and it's all I want to talk about. Let me just spin you around and I'll show you how all of the seeds are getting on in the front garden. I, I feel like I haven't really shown you the front garden that much to be honest have i i just haven't really had a chance so let me spin you around and i'll show you how it's all looking my dahlia tuber is still down here just enjoying itself and it's got a nice bit of sunshine in there as well so it should keep it nice and warm my little tumbling ted is starting to grow so we've got lots of new growth coming up here which is really exciting and i lifted the level of compost as well so i've brought it right up to the top now spinning around 
I only sowed these seeds maybe a couple of weeks ago and look at how much growth there is in this planter. So there's certainly lots of these. I mean, I'll be honest, I can't remember which is which. <laughs> so it's gonna be a nice surprise, but there's lots and lots of these same ones coming up. And then we have got some slightly different, slightly bigger green ones. Um, what else do we have in here? I think it's just the two at the moment, the bigger green ones and then the slightly smaller, kind of more bluey coloured ones. Um, and then the planter that's got my wildflower seed balls. At the moment it just looks like weeds. <laughs> I'm sure all of our neighbours probably think we've got a load of weeds in this planter, but you just have to be patient with this. Um, and then over on the flower bed as well, I'm glad that I reminded James I had filled this flower bed with seeds because he was about to spray some sort of weed killer down. But you can see all of the growth that's coming up in this section oh a little bumblebee <laughs> oh that makes me happy that just makes me feel like it's spring um yeah there's some more coming up here there's some more coming up down here as well so there's bits of growth there's certainly bits of growth the azalea is absolutely loving life look at all of the pink coming out this one has certainly taken on a life of its own as well and my jasmine if I try and just carefully step forward and come out of the shadow, <laughs> my jasmine, look at all of the fresh growth on my jasmine. I am so excited for that to come out. It's just gonna look absolutely beautiful. So yeah, happy front garden. this afternoon and we decided to take all the covers off the sofa and just enjoy the sunshine <laughs> we've got a couple of family friends coming around a bit later so we're just giving everything a bit of a clean um, we've taken everything out of the box here and just got all the cushions out I've got my new cushions on the sofa looking absolutely beautiful yeah the other bean bags are out so this is how it looks um, <laughs> excuse James <laughs> sweeping but yeah these are how they look and then you can get matching footstool if you want a matching footstool as well but yeah what a beautiful day I could just sit out here for hours and hours just reading good morning I haven't filmed on my phone for a while actually so hopefully <laughs> <laughs> that was a cat behind me in case you didn't uh in case you didn't notice um yeah hopefully the quality's okay because I will be filming most of today on my phone because I haven't got my camera with me but I've just finished getting ready I am at my mum's house because we are getting the train into London today for something incredibly exciting that I cannot wait for I've just got ready excuse my pajamas on the bed behind me but I've got my lily silk button up cardigan jacket thing <laughs> on which I will link below I will check if my discount code is still live for this and then I've also got my new look jeans if you watched my what did I title it I think it was like fashion and home haul it was a very recent video then this was the second pair of jeans which lots of you liked actually and I just completely love them and then I've got my belt I've tucked the top in I'll try and show you in the mirror when I go downstairs just like a nice smart casual my hair has gone exceptionally well today which I was not expecting I freshly washed it and I don't know whether it's the water here or whether it's just um had a good day with the straighteners but see I've had it cut and I've had it coloured so it's looking nice and blonde and nice and fresh, but yeah, really liking um, really liking the shape that it's taken today. I'm quite liking this bit going on here. So yeah, looking fresh, feeling fresh. I haven't told you where we're going or what we're doing. So we are heading into London. I'm not sure whether it's like central London, north London. I can't remember exactly where the place is. We are very, very excitingly heading to the spring summer 2024 season launch of Dusk. And I cannot wait. 
for those of you that know me well, um, or those of you probably that only just about know me or even follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am a very big advocate for Dusk. I have been a customer of theirs for years. I've worked with them quite a few times, but honestly, even if I hadn't worked with them, I would still have bought a lot of their stuff. Uh, I purchased the guest bed from them, our master bedroom bed is from them. I've got so many cushions, so many throws. The new chair that we've got in the corner of our living room is from Dusk. Ronnie's dog bed is from Dusk. I just have so much of their stuff. So I am unbelievably excited to go and see the new launch pieces, see what they've got, um, meet some of the PR team, maybe meet some other like content creators that are gonna be there that I haven't met before. And mum is coming with me and hopefully we'll have a little bit of a, I think we'll have maybe like a goodie bag to take away as well. So I'll show you what I bring home. But yeah, that's what we're up to today. So I'm gonna head downstairs and get some breakfast our train is in just under an hour i have a little bit of time to chill before we head to the train station and then we'll be heading into london give you a little outfit peek as best i can so i've got my vivea flats on um which quite satisfyingly uh match the shade of my bag <laughs> so they are going to be super comfy and i quite like the dark toe on them i think they kind of tie in the the darker top, which is nice. And then, yeah, as I said, my new look jeans. I don't know how good the light is on uh, on my phone. And then I've got my lily silk top with just a few little gold accessories. I haven't got a necklace on today, but I've got these bits. And then my, uh, I think it's a Monica Vinida uh, studs. And then that's about it. I've got my belt on the tan side because I think it just gives, gives a nice extra color and that is the outfit. Let's go. A lot of the ones that I see are grey. And it's hard to find like a nice beige one, but I really like the colour of this. Mm. Lovely. and the matching cushion covers as well. Do you see the square ones? How nice would that be for the guest room? And that's the throw that I've got as well. testing out the new Lisbon garden range. Hopefully you can hear me and it's absolutely lovely. You can also get it in a dark grey but I love this natural colour and I really like the glass coffee table that you can get with it as well. It's beautiful. I could just sit here for a while with a good book and enjoy. So we are in the large, I think the large U shape and then there's a three seater one just here but you can also get some really lovely corner ones. Um, there's loads of different types. But I love it. I love these coasters as well. I don't know where they're from. <laughs> I need to find out. But I'm a big fan of this. from a very sunny snug room. So a few days have actually now passed since I got back from the Dusk event. It's just been super busy. I've had so much to get done. My phone is in the bright sunshine right now. So I'm actually gonna take that out before it overheats. 
um yeah i've just i've had all sorts to get done and i wanted to properly sit down with you and debrief and let you know what i got up to because it was so much fun you would have seen quite a few clips um and we kind of spent a bit of time in london afterwards so we went to this lovely little french cafe and had some sweet treats and some tea we went and grabbed some dinner and then we got the train home and we didn't get back until I think about 8.30. So it was a long old day, but it was a really lovely day and we honestly had so much fun. I did pick up a few bits that I thought I would show you and I'll also kind of talk you through some of the bits that I spotted whilst I was there as well. Now you'll have to excuse my outfit today because it's going to be exactly the same as my outfit in next week's video because I'm actually filming it all at the same time. So yeah sorry about that <laughs> i'm just kind of squeezing everything into today so i mean you might not even notice by the time you get to next week but anyway um so yeah got to the event we had some lovely nibbles we had some drinks it was just really nice really friendly i got to meet quite a few people as well that obviously were also on instagram or were also content creators some of which i already followed or they followed me so it was nice to kind of put some faces to names. We did get to chat through some sort of styling workshops and some insights in terms of what made them choose certain things for the new spring summer 2024 collection and also how they chose to style it or how they would style it if they had it at home. They had some absolutely stunning, stunning outdoor garden furniture which is brand new for this year i will pop a picture of things kind of as i talk through them next to me or videos if i took any but this garden furniture was so beautiful and the quality of it was up there like really high up there i would I'd be tempted to give it a 10 out of 10. It's definitely going to be going on my wish list. And then the cushions themselves are a beautiful, kind of like this colour, um, light cream. And the cushions were really good quality as well. They had a nice thick piping around them. They didn't feel like they were going to tear or they were going to squish. You know, they were nice and firm. I sat on it. It was so comfy. So I was incredibly impressed by their outdoor furniture. And I would... I would be tempted to say that was my favourite thing because it was just, I wasn't expecting to see it and it was so beautiful. So yeah, those bits are already on the website so keep an eye out for those. They also had some beautiful new bedding so another thing on my wish list is the can i think it's called um it's a bedspread and it has matching cushion covers and this has been very very popular over on instagram over the last few months people going for this really beautiful like intricate embossed type style of bedspread in like a bright white it's been super popular so i was really happy to see this again the quality was stunning and i think it would look gorgeous in our guest bedroom it had some really lovely sofas they had oh my gosh i got a sneak peek of a new product that will be coming i think they said it would be may is my camera straight i feel like it looks wonky i'm sorry if it is I think it's in May they said it would be coming, but they have some, I don't even know, am I allowed to tell you? I feel like I can tell you because it would have been in the videos and it would have been in the stories. Some beautiful outdoor and indoor rugs coming in May. I don't believe they're on the website yet, but they told me that they would be in May. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out for those. Um, if I got any pictures, I will show you. But they had some gorgeous bedroom rugs. They had some lovely outdoor rugs that matched the furniture really nicely as well. They had some really, really lovely, like, jute, thick and thin rugs that I, oh, I spotted one and I just know that it's going to be so lovely for underneath our kitchen table i just i as soon as i saw it i was like okay i have a vision and i know i'm gonna love this so yeah basically quite a few things went onto my wish list and quite a few things i'm going to be keeping an eye out for but yeah it was a really really lovely event and thank you to dusk for inviting me as well i felt honored and it was so exciting so yeah there were a few goodies that i brought away with me 
so they had a little pillow embroidery station which I thought was very very cute um so I did get oh I did get a pair of the regent cushions they are gorgeous quality they're 400 thread count so they're really thick they're really amazing quality and I decided to get my initials embroidered on one of them I went for this really lovely kind of sand beigey colour and you can see the beautiful Oxford shape of the pillowcase with this pretty detailing here so yeah one of them's got my initial one of them's just plain but I thought they would be really lovely for our bedroom upstairs and just to be honest just a nice reminder of the event a couple of other bits I'm not going to show you all of it because there are one or two things that actually I'm going to keep um as some presents for people because i think they would just make beautiful presents and i just don't really need them myself or i've already got them um but i got one of these gorgeous wash bags i love the color of this i love the detailing of it i love the embossed logo i just think it looks so classy and elegant um and obviously it's my favorite color but i also love the size of this this is perfect for when you're going away and you just need to just throw everything inside here so i have used this already for when i stayed at mum's and i can fit my skincare in here i can fit all my makeup in here my shampoo my conditioner my deodorant my toothpaste everything fits in here and i had space left over so this is definitely going to be coming on holiday with me because it will just come in so handy there is a smaller version of this that you can get on the website as well like everything on dusk they're really well priced and they're so reasonable um but yeah love this big fan of that now i don't know if this is actually a dusk product as such or whether they just have them for the event but i also got this really lovely uh candle and it's got the i can't remember the name of these it's like a, a wood like a crackling wick almost so i haven't lit it yet but it smells absolutely delightful so mum and I got one of those and I don't know where I'm going to put it but again it's just a nice little memory maybe I won't burn it and then they also put a couple of other branded things into the goodie bag as well so I got some brand new Katie Loxton hand cream which I was very excited about I flipping love Katie Loxton and it smells gorgeous it's orange zest and peach blossom oh. And then the final thing I can't show you because I just went downstairs to go and find it and it's disappeared. <laughs> we got um, another like sachet of my top, top, top favourite. I was so excited to see this in the gift bag. Uh, Tallow and Ash laundry detergent and conditioner. And it was in the Duvet Day fragrance, which is in like this beige packet. And it's so nice. It's so, so nice. I've been through an entire bottle of the detergent and the conditioner and I definitely want to repurchase it. It was nice to get the sample though. Um, but I went to go and find it and I couldn't find it anywhere. And James did do a big load of washing yesterday. So I have a feeling he might have used it on the washing and that explains why I can't find it. So I can't show you the samples, but they're really lovely and definitely worth trying out if you haven't heard of tallow and ash yet so yeah those are the bits that i came home with as i said it was it was just such a lovely day and it was nice to be able to take you along with me and it was nice to just be able to spend a bit of time in london to be honest because i don't really go into london very much and equally just have a bit of time with my mum as well to have a little bit of a girly day so yeah Hopefully the vlog isn't too long. I feel like there's been so much packed into this week, but hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're still with me. If you are still with me, oh, what shall I come up with? If you are still with me, comment, leave a comment down below that includes the word candle or just leave the word candle somewhere in your comment. <laughs> and then I know that you made it to the end and you get a big hug from me, a big virtual hug from me to say thank you so much for making it this far. And honestly, thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. It just, it means the absolute world. And I still sometimes can't get my head around the fact that people enjoy sitting and watching me chat away. <laughs> so yeah, I'll leave the blog there. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. I've got some gorgeous gorgeous things to show you next week we've got a bit of a haul coming at the start of the vlog so yeah get ready for that and i will see you very soon goodbye mm -hmm.